Hello, church family. I wanted to talk to you today in person, sort of, to encourage you and to remind you that your pastors are praying for you in these challenging days. As I did yesterday during our live stream of Sunday morning, I want to address this thing called fear because it's a, it's a very real thing. Many of you no doubt are wrestling with fear in these times as you think about your children, as you think about the health of uh, people around you, or as you think about the impact of all that's happening on our economy and, and maybe more specifically on your job or your business, uh, the domino effect on the economy is potentially very significant. And all of these are, are, are real and, and big things. I'm typically not much of a bumper sticker statement guy, but it's completely accurate for us to be reminded that no matter how big our problem is, our God is bigger. And so we don't fear, but we trust. We don't hoard, we share. We don't stop giving to his work through the local church. We don't cut ourselves off from others, even though connection may look different. But we don't become selfish at a time like this, but we seek to help and serve in any way we can. And it's neat to see that's already starting to happen. But you see, fear can keep us from all of these good and godly things. One of the most common statements in the Bible is God speaking to his people and saying, don't be afraid. God knew that his own people would need that reminder quite often and we all do. There's a way to move past having fear dominating our thoughts, and it's a choice to trust God as his word describes him, as all wise, all loving, all powerful, and so worthy of our full surrender and trust. It's interesting in scripture and throughout history, some of the greatest moments of uh, victory and faith building uh, experiences come out of the most difficult times. And so I want to remind you that God is walking with us. Yes, we live in a broken world, but God is still in control. A couple of weeks ago, I woke up early uh, and right away was thinking of an upcoming meeting uh, that was causing me a degree of stress. And that same morning in our journey of reading the Bible together as we're doing, I read the words uh, from Isaiah 41.10. Don't be afraid, for I am with you. Don't be discouraged, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will hold you up with my victorious right hand. Great words. Let God's word bring strength and encouragement to you by opening your mind and heart to it. Maybe it's beginning to read through the Psalms. Or maybe you need some suggestions of scriptures that would be good to meditate on at a time like this. Uh, feel free to contact me. And so may, may you sense God's deep love and care for you today and in the days ahead. God bless you.